Hi everybody, Dr. Munna Das here, Interventional Cardiologist and Electrophysiologist at Narana Super Specialty Hospital, Howrah. I am to explain to you regarding electrophysiologic study and RF that is radio frequency ablation within a few minutes. Basically, EP study is a diagnostic study which akin to angiography is done after getting admitted to the hospital where the patient has to stay for one day package and the patient needs a pre-op pre-investigation uh, blood workup called pre-cath profile following which uh, with a fasting period of around four to six hours patient is taken up for this study here instead of the angiographic catheters that we routinely put into the blood vessels for doing angiogram we we put solid catheters here way straight into the heart through the blood vessels and we try to map or find out the electrical abnormalities of one's own heart's electrical system. It is done under local anesthesia and it's a minimally invasive procedure and the patient can be discharged the next very next day and it is a very important test in a uh, quite a large number of subset of patients who come with palpitations with syncope that is sudden loss of consciousness with spontaneous recovery and also in certain patients where heart rhythm abnormalities are responsible for the decrease in cardiac pump function as also in life threatening arrhythmias that is heart rhythm disorders where patients unless treated can be fatal. So this particular study is at times followed by a radio frequency ablation where an alternating current at a very high frequency is delivered into precisely into the particular portion of the heart with the, which is arrhythmogenic or producing these rhythm problems so as to create a very small precise burn and thereby cure the patient of this particular rhythm problem. The cost of such a procedure in our part of the globe in India itself is very less compared to the western world and lots of patients can benefit from these tests and the treatment because here most of these entities are curative. Unlike your coronary artery disease or maybe your hypertension, diabetes, rhythm problems to a large extent can be cured where patient can be free of the drug for the rest of his life. And the risk involved in such a procedure is also minimal in experienced hands. We do about 50 to 60 procedures, EP study and RF ablations in our center on a monthly basis. And here uh, you can see from the diagram what I was mentioning of these solid catheters placed into different portions of the heart and they can map the heart's electrical system and we also try to pace or artificially stimulate the heart's electrical system through a number of protocols and thereby try to induce or try to precipitate the same clinical tachycardia for which the patient was suffering from and for which the patient has come to our clinic in the first place. And after finding out the tachycardia, we find out the mechanism, what caused the tachycardia and thereby treat the particular electrical 
abnormal focal point which is triggering such a tachycardia they were curing the patient of such disease also patients own AV conduction system own cable system can also be studied and precisely whether pacemakers are needed or at times whether ICD that is shocking device therapies are needed they can be delineated or discerned so that way it is a very useful test followed by RF ablation which is in most cases curative for the patient.